Hi, my name is Andrew Peterson with Dave Severson Truck Centers. Today we're going to walk around a 2024 Freightliner 114 SD Plus model, which has been freshly updated this year. From the outside, you're not going to be able to tell a whole lot of difference, but once you see inside, you're going to be really surprised. First thing you're going to notice when upon entry here is going to be the new door design. What they've done is they moved the speakers from inside the dash to on the door for a lot better audio clarity. Second, they've redesigned the kick plates with a grab handle for safety. And they also added an LED light that illuminates the steps for better uh, safety upon entry. Next thing you'll notice is they've moved the power window switches from on the dash to the door, as well as your heated mirror and your power mirrors. So a lot easier creature comfort for the driver to do it via his hand where normally located versus on the dash and having to reach. Next thing you're gonna notice is an LCD display, which is gonna be similar to what is on our on-highway truck, the Cascadia. So if you have any familiarity with the on-highway Cascadia, the gauges and the dash layout is gonna be the exact same. It's gonna be a two needle for the fuel and the def, dual needles for the air, primary and secondary, and then selectable features within the digital dash. One of the most exciting features that's new is gonna be a all-in-one steering wheel. This one here particularly is the leather wrapped steering wheel. They moved the cruise control onto the steering wheel as long as your, as well as your Bluetooth and all of your functionality within the dash screens. Uh, this is also going to be the exact same steering wheel as what you'd be used to in the Cascadia. Next things that you're going to notice that are new are going to be a couple new stocks that are mounted on the steering column. First of which is going to be the windshield wiper uh, mounted on the left hand stock. That used to be a dash mounted switch. Now it's more easily accessible being on the steering column. The next one's going to be your shift selector. Uh, this one is also familiar in our Cascadia with our DT12. Uh, transmission which is now available we can use this with our Allison transmission as well it's a rotating wheel for drive neutral reverse and if you have an engine brake on it that is also included in there you can go from manual mode to auto mode or in an Allison it would be a man, uh, primary mode to secondary mode next thing you're gonna notice is a uh, completely upgraded dash this dash allows us a lot more configuration options. Um, one being we're able to factory engrave the switches versus just having optional switches as we've had in the past. The cool thing about this is they're all programmable. So there's no need to remove the dash panels and splice into wires, which is gonna leave the uh, true original fit and finish of this product uh, the way it was intended to be. This is a pretty easy configuration with a, as a plow truck, but if you have a more extensive uh, configuration with that where you're gonna need a lot more switches, we're able to put switch packs throughout this whole, this whole dash panel here. Otherwise, we're able, if you want additional storage, we can put a storage pocket here, also a storage pocket above the radio. Lastly, a nice little upgrade that they did is redoing the upper storage compartments. Uh, these used to be very small, you couldn't fit much in, um, and there wasn't really a lip on it, so anything you had up here, if you accelerated, would fall back. They've made these quite larger, and then they've put a lip on the inside, so if you have paperwork or something in there, it'll actually stay, uh, stay in place. I think this is a fantastic upgrade. Up here is where we have a two-way radio mounted. We can also put CB radios. Uh, or you can move your actual vehicle radio up here as well if you're going to have neither to save you dash space.